Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to restore your Windows 10 PC in case you've messed it up or it's just running too slow or it's just not quite like the day you bought it. Um, it's really easy and it really works. I've, I've used it a few times uh, for some of my clients. Um, if you boot into Windows 10, you have to do, you have to be kind of booted into it. Um, you can, if, if Windows 10 does not boot, it boots into like an advanced recovery mode, which I don't cover in this video. Um, that's another way to do it. But let's say you're in Windows 10 and you're just like, you're fed up. You've had enough of it. It's just not working right. You just want to go right back to where you basically just bought it. You know, you still want to keep your files because everyone usually wants to keep their files. So you still want to keep your files, but you want to reset Windows 10 back to the day, you know, you've, you've opened that computer, you turned it on, whatever. So if you click down here and click in the search web and Windows area, you can type in reset. And you can click reset this PC system settings. Um, you can right away, it'll bring you into recovery and you can say get started. I want to go ahead and keep my files or in case I'm giving this computer to someone else, I can say remove all of your personal files, apps and settings. Uh, in my case, I want to keep my files. So I want to keep like these two files on my desktop and maybe this right here. This application will be gone because it wasn't installed or it should be gone. I should say I haven't tested this on this particular uh, build. So we'll go ahead and say uh, remove apps and settings, but keep my files. This won't take long. It does take long. Um, it's going to say these apps will be removed. So it's actually going to keep this. This is actually not even installed, though. It's just really downloaded. Uh, it's from one of my last videos. It's going to remove Google Chrome, uh, some Microsoft C++ stuff, and some VMware tools. I am using a virtual machine to do this demonstration. Click Next. And we'll hit Reset. And my PC is restarting. And this does take some time. I had a client um, a few days ago. I think it took like two hours. It was uh, quite the experience. I don't know why it was so slow. So anyway, we'll just let that roll. It says preparing. And it'll go through a few of these screens and so on. So we'll come back as soon as we've got something better to look at. So you can see some progress here. It says uh, installing Windows. Your PC will restart several times. So it's pretty, pretty slow. Um, I think I've been waiting like almost an hour now. So getting things ready, don't turn off your PC. Seriously. And voila! My PC is reset back to normal. My resolution is, you know, very square. All my settings, my personal settings are just, you know, gone. It does leave a nice little note for you in the form of a HTML file of removed apps. Uh, if you open that up, it'll say these are the apps that we removed. It removed two apps. Uh, I had a customer where it removed maybe three dozen apps, something like that, when they're all crap anyway. It left my personal files. Uh, I had a little tester file and then a little uh, Dark Souls file that I copied over. And yeah, so, you know, if your PC is really messed up and you don't want to, you know, hire someone to come out and kind of solve everything, you just want to go right back to where it was when you first bought it, uh, resetting it is the way to go. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, please uh, like, subscribe, share. What am I missing? Uh, like, subscribe, share. Oh, that's it for now. Anyway, bye.